Well, as I mentioned, I was leaning into the car, scrubbing vigorously, when all of a sudden I paused and inhaled through my nose, and something wasn't right. It was early 2000s. I lived in Southern California, where I grew up, Orange County. I would uh, bike commute from Huntington Beach down to Laguna, and if any, any of you have been to Laguna, you kind of know what it's like there. I, I worked as an auto detailer, um, cleaned lots of fancy cars inside and out. Um, every crevice and crack was uh, saturated with, with degreaser and, and scrubbed. Um, I used to not have to trim my fingernails just because of all the, the rag scrubbing I used to do. And so I, you know, it was very thorough and, and you know, maybe for someone with some OCD tendencies, it was kind of a good, good job. And um, so there was one day, probably in the height of summer, um, you know, hot day, maybe toward the end of the end of the day, wanted to get things over with so I could go home. And uh, I was working on a big S, big SUV, like a Cadillac SUV or something like that. I remember it was gold, and I remember the uh, the interior was all kind of a, a tawny beige color as well, similar to the paint. And I had, um, I don't think anyone else was around. I was just kind of going solo and trying to get this thing done. And I'd been working on it for probably an hour already. And I'd washed it and waxed it and vacuumed it. And I was doing the interior. And I'd gone through this thing completely, vacuumed it, um, and then saturated all the, all the uh, seating surfaces and, and carpets and um, scrubbed them and, and wiped them out with rags and was just, just about done. And in the back of my mind, I had kind of been noticing this weird smell. And uh, it wasn't until I was at that final stage of it that I, I sort of paused and put two and two together that I'd used the wrong chemical to, to clean out the inside of the car. And uh, so there's, we used to use these um, pump bottles that you would kind of um, spray uh, for insecticide, you know, along the lawn, pump them up with air, and they looked alike. There was one that had the, the degreaser, for, you know, which was, had a different smell, and then there was another one that had wheel acid inside of it. And the wheel acid, you know, it, the degreaser smelled kind of like a, a base, like a um, um, simple green or Windex kind of thing, and the wheel acid smelled like rotten eggs, and I got that distinct rotten egg smell from, uh, uh, you know, about that after I'd finished up the, the car and, you know, it was, yeah, it, my heart just kind of really, really sunk to the bottom of my chest and um, there was just, there was nothing to be done really. I, I thought that I had, you know, I couldn't have contrived a better way to uh, eat the interior of that car alive. Like I, <laughs> With, with vigor, I, I needed this caustic chemical into every fiber of it. And, uh, you know, I thought about, you know, neutralizing it with, with the other, um, other chemical to kind of even out the pH. And I think I actually did that. Maybe it helped. Um, and with my head hung low, I, I got out and went over and told my boss what had happened. And he was, you know, considering the circumstances, pretty understanding. And, uh, I uh, hoped I would never have to find out what ultimately became of that vehicle, and uh, fortunately, I didn't. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that's that's all I get out. Oh, God, I don't know if that was uh, five minutes. But.